Hi guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Riley and I'm a future fit athlete. And today we're going to be answering a Q&A about why you shouldn't fast track your personal training course. So at Future Fit, we get a lot of questions about the duration of our level three course and why does it take so long to get qualified when there's other people have seen it online in a lot quicker space of time. So I'm here to answer a few of those questions and what I think the benefits are over training over a longer period of time and sort of give you my experience with it as I qualified for a longer course. So question one, how, what is the time difference between course, how long does the Future Fit course take? So our Future Fit course and level two and three personal training course takes uh, around a year and that is a blended learning mix of e-learning and practical workshops. Some online courses can take you only eight weeks. All right, now we're gonna get into that in a minute, but that's question one. Okay, question two, how are the courses different? So our Future Fit course over here is gonna take a year. Like I touched on earlier, it's a mix of blended learning. So you do your e-learning, uh, which can be done online, at home, you can work around it, you can still have your normal day job, you can still work part-time, uh, and you can do most of the education stuff online, and then we still have practical workshops where you come in and do practical days and get assessed. Uh, this is Future Fit. Over the other side, where you can just do, get qualified online in about eight weeks, there is no practical skills you can get qualified without even lifting up a dumbbell, which to me seems absolutely ridiculous. It's like someone come around to build your house when they've never laid a brick before. So that's the two differences in terms of the bulk of the course. Okay, so someone said here, if you learn faster and you get qualified in a short period of time, surely you'll get more experience uh, building up your client base faster. And that's not necessarily the case. Um, Getting, once you're into the personal training industry, it is hard to build a client basis and you've got to really work at it and you've got to try to find your niche and see what you're good at. Um, and you do that through the practical elements, through your workshops, your workout, supersets, drop sets, all these sort of exercise and styles and your niche of what clients you're going to work with and which clients you'll work best with through the practical days because you'll work with various different clients and then you can see what ones you're good with and what ones you necessarily not as good and someone might be slightly better. If you learn online, you don't get to put any of those skills into practice. The only experience you really have is yourself at the gym. And that might be good, you might be really good at training yourself, but in terms of interacting with clients and other people, you might actually really, really struggle. So the whole, if I get qualified in eight weeks, I can get this much experience is true, but you may really struggle to pick up clients as soon as you've uh, as soon as you qualify whereas if you take your time to learn you're using these skills you know exactly where you're gonna uh, put these skills and I think it's a lot better in terms of you get more time to prepare for the fitness industry. I also want to touch on social media if you can build a social media platform throughout the year of learning and you can post consistently post informative posts help others out build a hype about you getting qualified the second you're qualified in, uh, once you finish your year and you're qualified, loads of people will have engaged with your post and loads of people will know and the chance of you getting clients are quite high. Okay, and the last question is, how will the practical workshops benefit, benefit you? And that is a really simple one to answer. You're gonna be doing a practical job. Personal training is practical. You need to be experienced. You need to have, like I said earlier, try out loads of different training styles, loads of different training methods, instructor methods, see which ones you work well with, see which ones you don't enjoy, and see which sort of clients you're gonna sort of target in the fitness industry. So without doing any practical, you, you don't know, and then you're gonna make a lot of mistakes once you're already qualified. Whereas if you get to do them in the practical workshops, you can make little mistakes and it doesn't matter. And then when you get fully examined, you're qualified, you're ready to go. So that was just a few questions that I got emailed about the personal training course and why we think you shouldn't fast track your personal training course. So if you have any more questions, leave them down below. Hope you find this useful. And that's me signing out.